What's up machine freaks? Hope you guys are feeling extremely froggy fresh on this fine day. I have my colleague here, Jason, today. He's uh, checking out our new brake setup. This looks kind of fancy, huh? And you said it has a parking brake? Yeah, there's a mechanical parking brake override. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. So we'll have, like if we park on a hill, this thing won't roll away on us. Perfect. On the last 3D Machines production, you guys saw Cole and I went and got groceries with this thing. It was the grocery gator for sure. Uh, we had a little run-in uh, problem, and we were pretty sure that it's the exhaust causing that problem. So we're probably going to chop that, probably in half, and go from there. So we'll probably start out by chopping like half of it, and then if it needs more power, we'll chop more of it off. But we, we don't want to chop off too much because we want it to be quieter. That's the whole objective, but we want power as well. So we got to start by taking this box off. So here's the original brake calipers for this thing, and they're cable driven. And the only thing about these brakes is the pads alone are 170 bucks a piece, okay? For for one set, so you got 170, or maybe that's maybe that is both sets. 170 bucks, that's crazy. Um, it's not as dependable as uh, the hydraulic system, so that's how we're going towards this. So what we're going to do, because they're not the same exact caliper, we're gonna take these mounts down here they're attached to these this uh, square stock here we're gonna cut that off bring that closer to the caliper and then uh, modify these suckers and mount our new calipers onto those you see it's tack welded down here at the bottom too right wow there. that's pretty impressive Jason busted out the drill press here and it's working mighty fine he's got a couple holes in there I have the our first caliper bracket all set up here well tacked up just needs one more hole in it so I'll trust Jason to do that so that's number one we're gonna strengthen it with some more weld on that side and then more weld on the other side as well and that thing will not go anywhere and then all I have to do is replicate that to my second one which is right here and the back mounts will be done how you make it out holding the wrong end it's still hot <laughs> Absolutely killing it on the progress factor. Jason's over there modifying our master cylinder bracket. I got some stuff all tacked up. Brick calipers are off of our lines, so they'll be ready to bolt in soon. One of the dilemmas, one of the drama factors is we're running low on gas. So we might not be able to like weld on mud flaps today because this is the gauge that tells us how much gas is in there and we're, we're not looking so hot. So we got our shop on. Got some stuff in here, but they didn't have everything, of course. Because everything we tend to do is custom stuff, and nobody carries custom stuff. Alright, where the f are we going? We spent three hours on a lunch break. Probably about 45 minutes of it was spent in the back of an auto parts store. They were the only ones to let us in the back. Uh, we found four different lines here. We got one, two, three... And there's a fourth one in there because with with the caliper system that we purchased it's got 1.25 thread and everything else either has 1.0 thread or 1.5 thread so we basically had to take parts from all the different sorts of vehicles mostly what 1990 chevys 1985 chevys uh, 80s, and 90s. 80s and 90s chevys and uh, we're making we're putting chevy parts on a gator so we got chevy parts articat parts john deere parts what else? I know we have something else. Oh no, we have a GS, or what What did this muffler come off of? That was a 70s Suzuki two-stroker. Uh, so, so another Suzuki. Anyways, it's a mutt, but she's going to hopefully get dialed in. Jason, are we going to be able to get a ride in today? We're going to get brakes working today. Okay, we got to get a ride in, dude. You haven't rode this thing yet. Well, put the damn camera down and get to work. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I got these to put on. I'll slap those suckers on. Calipers are in position. You just gotta run the lines. 8.01 p.m. Lines are ran. They're along the frame there. Come up there and Jason's messing with the master cylinder right now. You getting somewhere with that? I hope so. It looks like it. That's sweet. I cut uh, a little bit of the exhaust apart. I have it clamped under there for now. 
the rest of the exhaust is up there. Hopefully that'll make the thing run better. I can't believe this thing now has Chevy parts. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty wow. crazy. We got these calipers blood, plastics off from the bottom, gas tank is on, which means we are ready for a test fire of the new exhaust. It's a little shorter. We'll send it. Let's piss off some neighbors. Absolutely. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be loud, no matter what you do. With so it. we can go to my buddy's. He's like thirty minutes down the road. I don't have time. Frickin' a! I gotta get home. Buddy, we got the shorty exhaust on. Got the calipers mounted. Dude, when you grow up, you'll have some uh, responsibilities too. You know? I have responsibilities. I have a house. I got no. I got no site. I got no chick that helps me pay my bills. <coughs> I don't either. Well, you know what I mean. You wanna take it down the road real quick? We can do an illegal rip. After replacing the batteries, the Duramax hasn't disappointed. Do you think you're gonna lock up the wheels? I... If we do, that'd be pretty impressive. I think it's just gonna slow it down really well. You think it's gonna work that well? Yeah. <laughs> That's enough, buddy. <laughs> That's <laughs> they work excellent. We can get like the top speed out of this now. I mean, you know, you can go fast because you can stop fast. You can try it. <laughs> I'm gonna need a helmet and I'm gonna need a belt cover first. <laughs> this thing lost traction at the turn up over there, and then it grabbed hey, and then it shot me quick. Up too. But I could literally Especially on that nice clean blacktop, you could you could really just get all four locked up. Right, is it moving yeah. easily now? No rubbing? Well, you're always gonna That's have some rubbing the disc. Well, yeah, yeah, but still, I mean, as long as they're not locked up. Nope. That's sweet. That is absolutely killer. It's the next day, Jason left. We worked until late last night. The short exhaust is definitely putting out more power for us on the Gator. When we went grocery shopping, that that first muffler that you know hung out way back there just was absolutely killing our horsepower 
and uh, luckily this thing brought it back. There's this community tab on my channel. I asked you guys like what you are looking to, to see on this channel and basically asked you guys for your opinions and you guys absolutely killed it. I had hundreds of comments, read through them all. Thank you very much. Uh, one thing that I really struggle with and I'm going to continue to work on it is to explain a little bit more. The reason why we're working on the Gator is two reasons. The main reason is we're going to do it up completely and then give it away. Something that isn't offered on the market, something extremely cool, something that's going to be reliable. But before we give this cool contraption away, we are going to take it up to my property, my 100 acres that I purchased that you guys haven't seen in a long time. And we're going to put this thing to work. We're going to put some trails on the property, more trails than there are. Uh, we have gotten out there. We've only been out there a few a few times uh, Riding collabing everybody, you know getting the, the gang back together is trickier as time goes on everybody's growing up So we have to get the gator out there and make some trails make some cool videos So until then we're gonna be working on the gator. We're gonna bring the Honda back as well Finally get the snow track off of that so we can ride that everybody's missing the Honda and then uh, we'll keep on pushing get to the BMW, get to the Jeep, and stuff like that. So we will get to stuff. Thank you for your guys' input. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Until next time, we'll keep finding a little bit of trouble. See you later.